My husband 39M knows about my 36F six month long affair but hasn't told me. What can I do? Story 1 Ok so maybe let's start out with a little background. My husband and I first met when I was right out of college in a new city. He swept me off my feet and from out first date it was magic. We married three years after that and now we have an eight year old daughter. We both work pretty we are both busy people. But he always made time for me and treated me like royalty, even when I didn't do the same. Around the beginning of 2019 I became familiar with one of my co-workers Nick Hess about my age and has a wife and three kids of his own. Nick and I started so innocent, we would go out to work outings together and sit close by and talk, I started sitting in his lap and we had some light touching but nothing too severe. I guess he reminded me of when my husband and I were young. There was a passion in Nick's eyes that drew me close to him. Eventually we started sleeping together. I knew during the whole time it was wrong but I pushed through, never once thinking about the impact it could have on my husband. This morning started off as usual, my husband gets into the shower before me every day and I snooze before I have to hop in too. He mentioned last night that he was going to stop by Costco on the way home from work today, so I grabbed my husband's phone so I could add to the shopping list a few things that I wanted. I know my husband's iPhone locked code so I went into the notes app to add what I wanted, and when I opened the app, it opened to a folder with dates listed on it. The dates started the first week of March, and continued unabated until last week. I curiously opened one of the dates and to my shock, it was a diary. I never knew my husband as the type of person to write out his thoughts and emotions. I read through the first couple entries of his diary and it broke my heart. The diary was all about my infidelity and how my husband was processing it. Looking at the dates that were listed he discovered my affair about a month after it became physical. I quickly locked his phone and hid it. When he came out of the shower I helped him look for the phone I hid, my husband has a work phone and a personal phone so he was unfazed about not being able to find it, he was on a time crunch and left the house with only his work phone. I called off work and read each diary entry. I feel like I may vomit. Almost each entry for the first three months he discovered my affair were about how he planned on making her fall in love with me again he had detailed in this diary the plans he had to make me forget about Nick, he talked about taking us on a week long vacation so I couldn't see him, how he bought my favorite flowers and cooked my favorite dish but I continued to see Nick. As the time went on and I continued to tell lies to my husband he would write in the diary about how his resolve is beginning to waver, how he is becoming depressed and feels so lonely and unloved. After three months the diary entries became wholly about his depression and how he cries every time he knows I am with Nick. He writes how every night before falling asleep he has visuals of Nick's body on top of mine and how the visuals make him feel physically ill. He keeps writing in his diary how he doesn't want our daughter to grow up with divorced parents like he did. There is a diary entry from one month ago that stopped me in my tracks though. In the entry my husband talks about how one night when I was with Nick and he put our daughter to bed, he was crying to himself like usual, but the tears stopped flowing. He says that his body finally stopped producing tears for his failed marriage. He says this night was the night the band aid fully came off. In this entry he talks about how this six month long process felt like a band aid on his soul that was slowly being pulled off. And how now the band aid was finally off, he felt a wave of relief. Like he finally got over me. Two weeks ago he had another diary entry. In this one he talks about how wants to arrange to meet an e-court girl. 
He writes that he doesn't know how to start an affair, but having s time with someone other than his wife will be an interesting experience. My husband knows my cheating schedule. He has planned on meeting this e-court sometime that I am with Nick. I don't know what to do at this point. I am at such a loss. I am so ashamed in myself, the whole I kept telling myself that no one was getting hurt, that this affair would run its course and life would go back to normal. I never realized the pain and suffering that I put my husband through. I have cheated on him so many times, and he suffered through it. What can I do now? I am never going to cheat on my husband again, but it's probably too late to have this realization for me. Where do I go? What can I do? I know many of you will say some horrible things about me and that's okay, but please help me save the marriage I ruined. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, you are a P.S. Confess to your husband and let him divorce you. You are soulless. Redditor 2, your post broke my heart for your husband. How can you possibly think that this would not have consequences? The first step is to tell your husband what you did, even if he already knows. He might still be willing to attempt to save your marriage, or he might really have worked through the pain and is now working towards an exit strategy. In either case, you need to tell him. You also need to have a long deep conversation with yourself. Why did you cheat in the first place? Are you still committed to this marriage in a way that you should be? If you are, then why did you feel the need to cheat? Be prepared for the most likely outcome of this situation, a divorce. But if you're both still willing try your best to save it with couples therapy and tons and tons of honesty. Redditor 3, you've killed your marriage. You're both basically going through the motions at this point. There will be no recovering from this. You can admit to things now, but I doubt it will do any good. Congrats on being a giant piece of asset. Redditor 4, he deserves better. Let him be free. Story 2, my husband cheated with my best friend. A little preface to this story, I've been with my husband for 7 years but only married for 1. Over the years Hess had so many inappropriate friendships. Single girls I don't know somehow become friends with him, confide in him, bring him coffee lunch to work, always randomly bumping into him, texting him. Anytime I've mentioned these things making me feel weird Hess always turned it around on me, making me the jerk for preventing him from having friends. I always end up eventually meeting these girls but always once they've gotten boyfriends or once their friendships have died down a lot, not to mention that any time I've even had single, male co-workers he would constantly start fights with me about them. Telling me that my friendships were inappropriate even though the extent of our friendship was physically working together. Never texting or hanging out unless at a party that my husband was attending with me. Has also been caught having inappropriate text conversations with women. Sexual talk, and even once with his ex-GF where they both proclaimed that they can't stop thinking about fking each other. Fast forward to March of 2020 when I went to visit my pregnant sister in another country. Due to border closures I got stuck in my native country and have been unable to travel back. I had with me our laptop that we share. And logged into it was his FaceTime. I was asleep one night in May when it began ringing and I could see that it was a woman I had previously mentioned being uncomfortable about before leaving for my trip. I waited until the next morning before confronting him and he lied on the spot telling me that FaceTime logs always make up random calls. His email was also logged into the computer and immediately upon asking him about the FaceTime call an email pops up that he has just changed our at account password. Obviously that prompted me to look into it and I found his call logs. 
Every single night he would lie to me about going to bed and spend hours with her on the phone. In one month they had spent over 100 hours on the phone, not to mention actually hanging out, working together, etc. This started happening literally the day I had left for my trip. I confronted them both and they both shrugged it off as me being hysterical. I obsessed over this but my husband swore he was just lonely and nothing physical or flirty ever happened. I chose to work on forgiving him but obviously I had trust issues. At the same time his s time will appetite seemed to have skyrocketed. All he would talk to me about was s time like every moment of the day and it was bugging me as I was taking care of our two year old daughter and didn't have time to be there for him every minute of the day to talk to him about his fantasies and what he wanted to do. It was incredible pressure as when I couldn't talk he would complain to me about how I blow him off and make him feel horrible about himself. So I suggested opening our marriage up while I was gone. I put boundaries on this like, total stranger, absolutely nobody in our friend group, nothing emotional, etc. The first thing he did was run straight to his ex aforementioned ex who he was caught talking to in the past and slept with her. They continued talking dirty and flirty up until I saw the messages and flipped out. He apologized and I said the open relationship was off yet somehow he convinced me to let him try again. He then immediately went to another girl we both have so many mutual friends with, her and I follow each other on social media, etc. Obviously I flip out again and for good call the whole thing off. Hess given a golden ticket and he still can't even follow the rules. He came and visited our daughter and I this Christmas and he openly admitted to having slept with my best friend in April. Just weeks after I had left. He tried to make up lies and blame me and how I was treating him I swear, it's such bs a girl who I had also mentioned their friendship being inappropriate example, she would tell him like the absolute dirty details of her s time old conquests that she wouldn't even talk to me about. I messaged her and she said she felt extremely pressured by him into the situation and apologized and then blocked me when I asked her details. My husband also won't give me details other than it has happened once. Otherwise he says the details are not important. Not that I believe anything he has to say anyway as has very much a pathological liar, he swears he will do anything he can to save our marriage. He swears Hess a changed man and it's as simple as choosing to not do it anymore because I'm the most important thing that's ever happened to him, blah blah blah, etc. I feel so incredibly betrayed by this person I can't even look at him with love in my heart anymore. Do people get over this kind of stuff? Do you think he will be able to change? I don't even want to go back to him. Has so emotionally manipulative and abusive him just discussed.